The world's first EMI measurement method, Accelerated Time Domain Scan for Prescan. Do you have challenges during prescan? Like, it is difficult to tell if you have picked up the relevant noise in prescan using software. You obtain different results in prescan even though the same EUT is measured. It is challenging to know what operation mode the noise appeared in. The accelerated time domain scan on the PXE can address these challenges at prescan. The PXE measures and observes noise in a wide frequency range of 350 MHz at a maximum of one time. This is 10 times the range of the traditional time domain scan. You can precisely pick up noise that needs to be measured in the formal measurement by gaplessly measuring wideband noise. Let's pre-scan an EUT and measure the emissions level to learn the PXE's advantages. Let's compare the Spectrum Analyzer's Suite measurement and PXE's ATDS measurement screens. In the traditional Suite measurement with max hold turned on, you can see the peak noise level continuing to rise. Is this what you really need to look closely into? Let's check out an enlarged view. We look closely at the place where we had seen a high noise level during the sweep measurement using the peak detector and max hold. Using the ATDS feature with the QP detector turned on, we can easily tell the level was not as severe as we originally thought. Like this, we can select the right noise. Let's look at the noise at another frequency range. During measurement using ATDS, you can see noise varying in sync with the printer's behavior. This behavior is not observed with traditional sweep measurements. With the ATDS feature, you can quickly understand the operation mode used when the noise was generated. This time, let's keep an eye on one particular noise. When we look at this noise, we can easily find the spread spectrum in the center. It clearly shows how the level varies while the turntable rotates because the noise has directional characteristics. With traditional sweep measurement methods, this behavior is never observed. You can correctly select and evaluate the noise for formal measurements using the ATDS feature. Compared with the traditional sweep measurement, it helps substantially reduce the variations in the measurement values. The graph shows the variations in measurement results in both the sweep and ATDS measurements. The horizontal axis represents the frequency, while the vertical axis represents the standard deviation. The orange trace shows the result of sweep measurement using the peak detector. The blue and green traces show the ATDS measurement results using the peak and QP detectors. The graph shows the sweep measurement results have large variations around 250 MHz compared with the ATDS feature. In this example, the deviation between the minimum and maximum values is as large as 13 dB. This tells us how poorly the sweep measurement captures the varying noise. With PXE, you can precisely select the noise that needs to be measured in the formal measurement. Also, you can easily understand the operation mode used when the noise was generated. As a result, you can obtain more reliable measurement results with much less variations. The ATDS feature addresses many of the challenges you may have during prescan and helps improve the efficiency of EMC testing. This is the PXE's ATDS feature. Thank you for watching.